Hey guys, I've just got up uh, after about six hours sleep. I got in for about three o'clock last night. Just had to take that little munchkin out of the garden because it would constantly not stop barking. Uh, but uh, it is raining, so I don't think I'm doing any skating. But when my back's still hurting from yesterday, I don't think I were anyway. I just let's see if it brightens up for this afternoon, and I'll see if anyone's out just for to chill out for a bit. Uh, I'm off down to see my granddad. It's a normal thing we always do every Sunday. We get the family together and go see my granddad, which is just down the road. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go to town and see if anyone's skating. I'm just gonna chill out and watch. I've hurt my back from the other day, as you know. Just got a lift into town off my uncle, so I got here a lot quicker than expected. And I'm kind of glad because they're digging up the railway track, so it would have been a lot longer journey. Just been to Tesco, it's got a salad, Krispy Kreme donut, and the new Blink CD, which I haven't heard yet, but a couple of songs I have heard, it's sounding good. So if I were you, I'd go and check it out it yourself, guys. Uh, I'm now uh, just wandering up to Clifton to meet Sean, and he's just takes me to the park's empty. So I don't know what we'll be doing today. Uh, but I'll find out when I get there. As you can see guys, I'm wearing my uh, Bamboo Forest t-shirt, which is a friend's company. Well, two friends really, Shay and Noah. Uh, go check them out on Facebook. Also go and check out the Panda Girls, which is a side project from Bamboo Forest. But yeah, they're good quality t-shirts, real well. I like them. And like I said, they are good quality, they'll last. I'm not sure if they are making them anymore, but if I uh, I do know they sell them props, so from the video the other day of Prop Skate Store, I'll go and visit them. I sell them in the shop if you're ever in Rotherham. Or just like I said, check them out on Facebook, they may still have some left. But like I said, they are working on new projects at the moment, so I'm not 100% sure. Sure, then. I'm not yeah, sure I'm sure. The weather is took a really good turn, it's now dried up. I'm just chilling at my mate Ratties for a bit, have a few minutes. And then uh, I'm going on. <sighs> I don't know where to say it. <sighs> anyway, guys. Yeah, I don't know, I was just chill out at my friend Ratties. He's off to Spain tomorrow for two weeks, so I just thought we'll just see him before he got off because I don't think next time we'll all probably see him we'll be nuking in about four weeks. Uh, but I'm going to call it an early night tonight and it's only half six, but I'm pretty tired, I've got work in the morning. I'm starting to feel it from last night. I'm going to go home, edit a few videos, have some food, and just relax. But it's dried up a lot again. Or oh, trying to dry up again as you can see from when it just literally hammered it down about half an hour ago. But like I said, I'm walking home. Or walking to the Rotherham. So I'm starting to get the bus and I'm gonna call it an early night. Just wanna say guys that I'm definitely feeling last night. I didn't really drink that much. I'm just feeling tired and I've got a really, really stiff back from some sort of skating injury the other day I don't know how I've done it but it's stiff I feel like I'm 50 not 24 it's just dirty now walking so I think that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm calling today a little bit earlier just because I just, I just want to go on and just relax and as well guys I have just listened to Blink's new album at my friend's house couple of tracks skip through so far my favorite is either 
rabbit hole or sober. I want to fully know yet because I'll be constantly listening to it on my iPod now on my way to work next week. But if you guys have heard it, I want to know your opinion on it and see what you think, what your favourite songs are, what do you think the difference between this album and the last albums they did. Just put your opinions in the comments and we'll see. As well, uh, normally on a Sunday night I would get into town a little bit later than this, they may be Taylor around or Tom around just at food bar or one or two, go home and the week just chilling with them, having a couple, having a chat but everyone went to Beanfest yesterday everyone's either skint or just tired or hungover so like I said I'm going to go home and call it early night for tonight Fountain, flower beds and stuff. It's, it looks nice and it's relaxing. And sorry, guys, a little bit of fluff on my lens. <laughs> yeah, it's just relaxing. I thought I'm about have 10 minutes. My bike's starting to seize again while we're walking, so I thought it's a nice place to relax. I thought I'd enjoy it while the sun's still out. Yeah. Relaxing. The park's quiet because it's been raining. So the families and everyone would have gone home early to avoid getting wet again. So it's a nice place just to have time to yourself for five minutes. That's what I'm going to do. It's weird, I've come to this park since I, since college really, like 17, 18 years old and it's one of those places that I do find a place where I feel comfortable, like a place I can relax and uh, just a place where like, it's a comfort zone really, the skate park, like I've been skating since I was like 12, 13, I've been to the skate park like I said since college those places where I can come on my own and feel comfortable a place like my own little comfort zone really and to be fair the skate park is going to be wet so I can't really go and sit on the park but I'm sat here next to the fountain and I might not be the only person who finds the sound of uh, water relaxing so I thought I'd give myself like I've said five minutes just to relax and really get over last night and get over what happened yesterday which I'll probably talk about in later videos but the minute I no I'd rather not I'd rather just sit and just relax really think things over and I'll probably set off home crazy to think that all these names are from literally could be five minutes away two minutes away a whole fort in the second world war all these guys all fought in the war fought in the war some of them maybe for just no reason just because they had to they fought for us some people may agree they didn't fight for our freedom but they fought for something one make guys just oh off the fence but they fought for something and it's nice to know. I've uh, finally left Griffin Park, I've uh, 
I've had some time. Breathed a little, just thought things over. Just things that have happened really in the past week, things that have happened in the past 24 hours. But now I'm, uh, I'm walking down to the stitch. I'd get the train, but they're digging up the tracks this weekend, so it's a lot more messing about. Just easier, gonna get the bus into Sheffield and I'm gonna go to the shop, get a few sweets. Uh, drink and uh, edit the video from today, edit the videos I still haven't edited for the past couple of days, edit the one from yesterday from Beanfest, make sure they're all up on YouTube for tonight and then just watch telly, get ready for work tomorrow. I'll be leaving a little bit early tomorrow as well because I've got the hairdressers because I definitely need my hair cutting after this week but like I said at the moment I'm Gonna go get the bus and get into Sheffield. So, I'll just wanna show you some of the old guys. We've been on a bike all day and constantly been on a bike for the past few days. That we do get a new key in about four weeks, and that's you can see how many days we've got left. We are extremely excited. I'm glad we've kind of got work for the next four weeks building up to it. So. It's gonna kill time a lot faster because we are really looking forward to this whole day. And the vlogs will be really good for me because I've now got everything for my GoPro. I'm gonna learn how to surf when I get there. We're gonna be jumping off cliffs, going out, exploring. So I'm looking forward to it. Just to show you something as well, I'm walking through Rotherham Town Centre again. Look how dead it is. I know it's Sunday, everything shuts early, but they make so much difference on the days and the times in this town, or any town really. It's just so quiet. And just really peaceful just to walk through compared to days where it's absolutely random you can just walk really and not have to bump into anybody worried about people knocking into you the hustle and bustle of weekend dates so it's a lot nicer just show you again how quiet it actually is now everything's shut it's so much peaceful. Don't get me wrong guys, I do like business. I like being around people. I like being sociable when there's loads of people around. It's nice, you feed off each other, but also I maybe like you guys, I prefer the opposite as well. I like my own time, my own space. I like quiet time to breathe and think. So that's probably why I like it right now while it is quiet. So the bus is not due for 20 minutes, so I thought I'd kill some time, have a nice walk around town and get it at the next bus stop. It's better than sitting around that we are doing it all to be fair. I just had a weird, funny experience as well. I've just had a bus driver come up to me, asking where the Mike Donalds were. It's not that funny, but it's just one of those random things I just thought, I'll just tell you. Sorry. Sitting here, a few steps in town, waiting for the bus. It would be better than sitting in the bus station, the sun's still out. I thought I'd just be more, uh, more relaxing really, and sat in the stuffy bus station. But I want to show you guys something as well. Remember the tragedies a few weeks back now, maybe in Orlando, when a lot of people got shot in that nightclub. In this area just here, in front of Rotherham's Heart of Steel, just before I started doing these vlogs, we, uh, we hold a... Uh, a memorial or a remembrance for all those guys that got shot and girls in that nightclub in Orlando which is nice for the people of Rotherham to get together and do something for a city miles away well that's Rotherham's Heart of Steel from what I've read from just the sign now it's to symbolise the heart of your community in Rotherham but if you want to pause the video and maybe I'll to Read about it yourself. It's to do with the British Heart Foundation. They help fund it, I think. Don't hold me on that. Yeah, it's a partnership between the British Heart Foundation and Rotherham Council. But it's nice. It's only been here for the past year. 
But like I said, this is where the memorial for the Orlando shootings was held a couple of weeks back. We all stood in the rain to remember everybody. Remember the guys miles away. It to remember something that should have never happened in the first place. Well, that's my opinion on it. It should have never happened. None of those people deserve to be killed. So if I've been sounding a bit shitty, a bit, a bit emotional to the guys, but last night I did bump into my ex-girlfriend that we did break up two years ago. But like you see things, it brings back memories and that's why I've been like that. So I'll just apologise again for being like that, but I just really wanted to get it off my chest. Just want to kind of apologise again for being a little bit grumpy and emotional, but things happen which trigger things. I did go through a lot when I broke up with her. But, like I've just had to realise, things happen for a reason. I'll eventually get over it, but being together for so long, feelings are going to come back from time to time when you see each other. But I'd just like to apologise once again for just being like that a little bit earlier. But for now, I'm walking home. I literally just got off the bus, I'll literally be there in the next two minutes. I want to thank you all again for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye guys. Uh, and it's not being that good. I had a really good time last night apart from the slight hiccup which I've just told you about. So on that note, I'll see you all tomorrow guys. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.